they are from two marks and in this video we are going to solve question number 4 of exercise 12.1 the question says the wheels of a car are of diameter 80 cm each how many complete revolutions does, does each wheel makes in 10 minutes when the car is traveling at a speed of 66 km per hour so to solve this question you must know one thing that in one revolution a wheel covers a distance equal to its circumference okay that means if let's say this is a wheel obviously wheel is a circular and it has some radius so in one revolution the distance covered by this wheel will be equal to the circumference of this wheel okay so with, with this we can form a formula which says distance covered by a wheel is always equal to the number of revolution multiplied by its circumference that means if a wheel makes one revolution, its distance will be equal to one multiplied by its circumference. Okay, so that means its distance will be equal to its circumference. Now, let's say the revolution, uh, the uh, wheels have made three revolutions. So its distance covered in three revolution will be equal to its circumference multiplied by its uh, circumference multiplied by 3 so this will be the total distance covered by a V so now but in this question we have to find how many complete revolutions does each wheel make so we have to find the number of revolutions so obviously with, from this formula only I can say that 10 that is our number of revolutions will be equal to I have to shift the circumference to this side it will be equal to distance upon circumference because distance will remain as it is but circumference here it is multiplied with n so shifting this side it should divide circum uh, it should divide distance so this is the formula we are going to use in this question now in this question the wheel of a car has a diameter as 80 centimeter now if the diameter the diameter is equal to 80 centimeter obviously radius will be half of it and the half of 80 is 40 centimeter so here the radius is equal to 40 centimeter now how we have to find how many complete revolution does each wheel make in 10 minutes when the car is traveling at a speed of 66 km per hour so obviously if I have to find the number of revolution we must know the total distance covered by this wheel and its circumference so now first of all let's find what is its circumference and obviously the circumference of a <coughs> circle is 2 pi r <coughs> here 2 and pi will be 22 upon 7 and radius is 40 so solving this it will be uh, it will be 88 sorry it will be 44 multiplied by 40 upon 7 that will be equal to this centimeters now after that we have to find the total distance covered by this wheel obviously this wheel we have to find the total distance covered in 10 minutes ok now it is given that the car is traveling at a speed of 66 km per hour that means every hour this wheel is traveling a distance of 66 km and every hour means in 60 minutes so we can say that in 60 minutes this wheel is traveling a distance of 66 km but we have to find 
the distance covered in 10 minutes so it is given that in 60 minutes we or you can say the car is traveling a distance of 66 kilometers so obviously in one minute the wheel will travel a distance of obviously if 60 minutes it travels distance of 66 km in 1 minute it distance will be less so we have to divide it so we have to divide 66 by 10 km now we have to find the distance covered in 10 minutes so obviously we have to multiply it by 10 so in 10 minutes the wheel will cover a distance of sorry here we have to divide it by 60 and after that I have to multiply it by 10 so this will be the distance this can be cancelled and this will be 11 kilometers so in 10 minutes the wheel can travel a distance of 11 kilometers okay now I have to find the number of revolution so that will be equal to the total distance covered by this wheel divided by its circumference so the total distance covered by this wheel is 11 kilometers because we have to find in 10 minutes how much distance has been covered so our total distance covered here is 11 kilometers and the circumference of this wheel is 1760 upon 7 now this is our main upon now before this one thing is important whenever we have to find the number of revolution obviously the both the things that is the total distance and the circumference should be in same SI units here the circumference is in centimeters but here the distance is in kilometers so let's convert this kilometers into centimeters so first of all we cannot convert kilometer into centimeter directly so first of all we have to convert kilometers into meters and then after that we can convert it into centimeters now how to convert kilometers into meters obviously one kilometer is equals to thousand meters that means if I have to convert one kilometer into meters we have to multiply it with thousand so it will be this much meters this many meter after that I have to convert meters into centimeter and we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters so again I have to multiply it with two zeros so this is centimeter and this is also in centimeters okay now this is our main upon obviously when this divided sign converted into multiplied sign the fractions below this get reciprocal that means denominator becomes numerator and numerator becomes denominator and here 11 is okay now if I cancel this with this and 11 1 times 11 1 times and this is 16 times so here the number of revolution will be this will be upon 16 now this will be the number of revolution obviously when you will divide this this value will come in decimals but we will ignore the decimal part and the value before or you can say the value left hand side of the decimal sign will be our answer so obviously you can divide this this is so 16 fourths are 64 this will be 16 and this will be 3 it will be 48 after that it will be 12 again it will be 20 and now this will uh, this will go uh, 16 fives of 
40 and this is 40 or so it will be 8 times this can cancel 8 times so 8 6 up okay this is uh, this will go 7 times so this will be 7 6 up 42 4 7 ones are 7 and 4 so 10 minus 2 is 8 and again this will be 80 so this then divided by it will go 5 times so it can be cancelled 80 so the answer will be 4375 ok now this will be 4375 revolution I thought this will come in uh, decimals but this is completely divide, divisible so we can say that these many revolutions will be taken by this wheel in 10 minutes to cover a distance of 11 kilometers. Okay, so this is how you can solve this particular question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. This is our phone number. You can call us or you can send us your query on WhatsApp. Thank you.